Hello everybody, I'm the Dragon Princess and welcome back to my channel. Yes, I styled my hair for this video because we are doing a hairstyling video. So, today I thought, because as you can obviously tell, I have chopped off all of my hair. Um, I chopped it right off. It used to be down to my butt. Um, and I just went for the chop, you know? <laughs> so. Today I thought um, that we could try some short hairstyles because I, since cutting my hair short, I wanted to do it, be um, one of the reasons was because I wanted to try and do more with my hair. For the past six years it has just been up in a high ponytail, doing nothing um, except for special occasions like my Deb where I had this really cool weavy kind of thing that my mum helped me with that and like you know I can't do that every single day as like a casual look so I have a big uh, sort of style sheet kind of thing of photos that I got off of Pinterest and so I am going to be doing those um so first I prepped my hair um this is like a day or two old I don't know how like I washed it two days ago um, and so I just went in with some dry shampoo and defrizz this is that Bastier um, instant hair refresh so this one yeah um, this one's dry shampoo and defrizz um, just so it wouldn't like it normally does like it normally does and then obviously I curled my hair and I just used the VH saloon barrel curler this is the box I don't actually have a thing because it's cooling down but there you go um reason I got this because it doesn't have the clampy thing which is the most annoying thing in the world um so yeah so let me get a few different materials and then I'm going to start <laughs> all right I have my bags of many hair ties and many pins and we're just gonna get started. So, the first one is pretty easy. It's just like a half up, half down bun. So, let me grab my hair tie. Hair tie. I'm assuming it's just up, a bit puffy, and then kind of, does it look curled? I don't know. <laughs> Tiny bun. Wow, isn't that wonderful? Okay, that that So kind of just like a mini bun. Um, I did it with the twirling and then the wrap round. So because my hair's a bit curly, it's a bit fuzzy, but there you go. Cool, that's like super easy. <laughs> like straight waves mine's like a messy wave but basically the next one I'm shooting grab two two pieces here or something so like these are quite short on me I don't know how well this one's gonna work This is a bit longer, so we'll see how this one goes. I'll just. Ah, I can only just hold it. I'm assuming I. So hers has got actually like twisted, but I can't do that, so. <laughs> I'm just gonna do this. Oop. Wrong way. 
Does that hold? Kind of, not really. which is actually good. I've never, I've never been able to just like put pins in my like loose hair like this and have it actually stay. So this is kind of cool. And I like the pulled back effect that it brings like here. And I just have like a, <laughs> I just have like a little puff on the end. Yeah, that's really cool. Okay, easy. Okay, so the next one we have is some small little pigtail. So she's got it hearted down the front, good enough. Little bits here and here. And then the rest of it is like, she's got in like this section. Like this. And then it's kind of pulled back. I'm gonna grab a bit more here. And then she's kind of got it tied right at the edge. Just grabbing a tiny elastic. Ryan <laughs> That's kind of interesting. Okay, let me do the other side. Trying to make them as even as I can. Ta da! <laughs> Okay, so the next one is actually looks kind of tricky, but I'm going to try it. So, um, this was actually like a video that was on a thing. So, pretty much, if I can remember this correctly, you tie first bit up, and then the second bit. which is going to be interesting on me because it's shorter. Okay, and then what you do with the first bit is you separate it, twist it, and pull this one through. Like that. So that it kind of creates this cross. Um, and then I think she also made a third one 
I don't know, does this work? <laughs> does this even work? Maybe I should just do it like that. Yeah, it's, yeah, so you get the gist. So I'm only, I can only do one with my tiny short hair, but it's kind of made like a nice sort of cross style to the top of my head. Wow, that's so cool and it's so easy. And it makes like a really nice kind of thing. So I did notice that it's like, kind of sticking out. I'm not sure how to fix that. But anyway, that is that is that. <laughs> so. All right, and my hair is kind of fallen, so uh, you'll have to excuse that. But it's still it's still wavy-ish, but it's kind of fallen. <laughs> All right, so. Where were we up to? Next one! Alright, so this one is pretty interesting. Um, again, the photo has a bit more of a longer hair, so I don't really know how well this is going to turn out. But we will try. Okay, there we go. <laughs> so, we have. Yeah. One. Two little sections. So we have three small sections all done up like this. And now we are going to Flip them inwards like that so that they create that kind of nice loopy kind of thing. I'm just going to pull them a bit. Flip. And I think this one has a bit extra hair so and flip like that and then we're taking the big sections here I don't think this is gonna work as well as these all right so we're gonna grab this section, I guess. I think it's that. Um, or it might just be... Include these in with the other ones. Kind of like this. So it's kind of just those, and then that's kind of being tied up as well. As you can see, it's kind of mini on me. It's kind of mini. Um, it's another smaller section on like lower down. So let's do it there. Okay, that's a bit better. So we have a little section here that is going to split, flip. I think it's the other way actually. Going to flip it like this, and then we're going to bring it up into a bun yeah. and grab another hair tie. This one uses a lot of hair ties and secure that in place. <laughs> 
Okay, I'm assuming it is absolutely tiny. You can barely see it. Look. <laughs> anyway. Yeah, it's very, very small, tiny bun. I don't have as thick of hair as the wig that they used. Um, if you know what I'm talking about, with the like, the, <laughs> the like really thick wigs that they just use on the heads. That is where I got that from. Um, and so, yeah, they have much thicker hair. But um, this is one's actually kind of cute, it's like a mini bun kind of thing going on. Um, but yeah, it just has like a lot more hair than me up top and um, a little bit longer. But I think I did all right. I'm quite happy with it. Gets it out of my face a bit and it looks quite pretty. I suppose you could like kind of pull all of this out and stuff if you wanted to. Make it a bit puffy. There you go. What's that? <laughs> Okay, <laughs> wow, it's really getting a bit flat, but you know, whatever. Okay, next one. <laughs> the next one is basically just trying to plait my hair and tuck it into a thing. Um, again, this is very, like, <laughs> this is for a bit longer hair, um, still kind of short hair. But basically, I'm going to split my hair into three, sort of try my best to plait what I have. Do it up. Puff it out. And then tuck it under. It doesn't really work with my <laughs> things here, so I'm going to try to pin those up. like so and then grab this bit and tuck under shove all of that under and pin <laughs> Um, didn't work the best. You kind of got the like start of a plait going on, but then obviously you have like all of the kind of spiky bits at the back, and it doesn't really work. Hmm, <laughs> that one is uh, probably not the best for me. Um, Now we know. <laughs> okay, much better. <laughs> All right, next one is another bun, but we have a little bit of a different thing. So I'm going to, I always forget to replace my mirror where I can see it. <laughs> so I'm going to split it down the center and then I'm just going to grab my hair and kind of pull it back like this so that I have a bit of a middle part kind of going on with this hair. With this style, like that, I 
believe is how you do it. And then basically I'm just gonna tie it up. Don't can't tell if she's got like it out like this. I think she does. Um, but then I'm gonna add like a little accessory on it. And this is just like super simple and stuff. I've had this scrunchie for years. I never really wear scrunchies, but I think it's really cute. And I just bought it on a whim. And there you go. It's just kind of what it is. Um, it's basically a little bit different because of the middle part. You kind of, you can also kind of like force it out a bit more to get more of that middle part. But um, yeah. That's that really simple one. And I suppose you can even do it like um, a bun sort of style. So if it, uh, yes, comes out with it. So you could even do it give it like a little loop to like work on. That bit's not supposed to be there, but I'll just tuck it. And then you have another cute little. Just kinda. fun. Uh, the next one is super easy. Again, it's just kind of like this half up, half down. Um, but similar to the other ones, we're going to split it. And we're actually going to split and we're going to fold it forwards instead of underneath like some of them do. Um, and then I'm just going to drag it down and tighten it. And then maybe puff out some sections and as well that just creates like a nice sort of interesting look and just simple thing for your hair nice and quick nice and easy that's why it's good <laughs> all right so the next one um, we're going to utilize the Next, we're going to utilize the flipping kind of, um, I don't know what you call them, the like fake flip ties, <laughs> basically. Let's see how this one goes. So, basically we're just going to section off bit by bit. you can make up how many sections you want flip it this one's flipping in like that and then you grab the next sections of your hair I suppose they can be a bit bigger tie it over the top of that one so that the other one is like sitting underneath tie it and flip it and then you can kind of just do that all the way down um, I might try and do gradually um, larging, larging, <laughs> um, making my sections gradually larger, at least trying to, because <laughs> I feel like I have no hair now. Just gonna grab some from behind. Ryan and again, this one's like fairly simple and fairly easy and quick to do, it just kind of takes a few hair ties and stuff. 
Um, and I don't know whether I can do this one. Let's see, but I'm just gonna grab some more hair from around the back. Um, now it's clear that in the photo that I've got here that um, they actually do like a bun. But I kind of want to see what it'll look like with just ponytails. Because it creates some interesting kind of looks for that. And see what it looks like on the back. Pretty good. So again, it's just creating that sort of different texture for hair and like just making it slightly look different. So yeah, uh, like I said before, nice and quick and easy, but just uses a lot of hair tie. It's really, <laughs> that's really it. one that I definitely want to try is the kind of ray look so <laughs> basically it's just like the um, what do you call it L like a layered bun kind of look which I think is kind of interesting I don't really know how big to make them I guess that's fine and then I'm actually going to try and collect the ends of the first one just so that they have somewhere to go. I don't know if this will make it like a spiky or not. <laughs> kind of makes it a bit spiky. Um, So again, just really quick way, really simple. Bottom one's a bit messy, but I'm sure that would be fine. Um, just a quick way to like get it out of your face and get it up and, you know, super quick, super simple, super easy. And so much easier to take out. Like that. <laughs> one that I actually want to try is using a hair clip. This is the only one that I've got and it never used to work on my hair. So we're gonna try. <laughs> so I'm just gonna take the two front sections and kind of open. I'm gonna slide this Hot stays. So there you go. That is. I'm actually like happy with that because it actually stays in. Um, I never used to be able to do that with my longer hair because it always just look like fall out and stuff. So good to know that I kept this and can actually use it now to make my hair look quite nice. Um, that's another thing that I like think I'm going to start buying is more hair, like hair pin, like decorative hair pins and like hair clips like these. So that's cool. <laughs> All right, so this next one, um, so the next one was just like uh, doing like a simple kind of high bun. And so instead of the low bun, so we will try that and this is how I normally do my buns is just twisting them like this and then just using a hair tie to keep it in place. Um, 
probably going to need some pins in it as well. No, mirror, stay still. <laughs> so there we go. Just kind of like a nice, quick, casual high bun. This just be like, yeah, simple, just do up and stuff. You could even like leave a few bits out if you wanted to. That kind of cool look. Alright, so the next one is kind of like another sort of loot ponytail thing but I'm pretty sure yeah so instead of the one that kind of just went looped ones all the way down I'm gonna do just two just like this and then this one's gonna loop forwards again and I'm just gonna bring it down a little bit and then I'm going to grab these next sections, I believe, I just grab these big chunked ones and just add a lot of hair to them and stuff. So I might even grab from down here and then it's going... So this one goes on top and then underneath this one so that you have that kind of layered and you can kind of pull it up to tighten it to make it a bit, a bit bouncy and there you go. It's like a little layered thing with some decorative twirly bits. <laughs> Thank you all so much for watching. Um, this has been trying out a few short hairstyles because I now have short hair. Um, so I wanted to make this video to kind of like give you guys some ideas and just try them out myself and stuff. Um, basically I got all of my images from Pinterest and things just searching around. So I put them all into a document and I'm definitely going to pin them to my corkboard or stick them on my um, bathroom mirror or just like have them somewhere in my room just so that I can try to do some more hairstyles like different things with my hair because um, I never used to <laughs> so this is me kind of forcing myself to be a bit more fun and different with my hair now that I have gotten it cut off <laughs> so thank you everyone for watching if you liked it please give a like if you would like to see more content similar to this please hit the subscribe button and stick around because i'm sure there will be plenty more of hair videos <laughs> probably <laughs> coming in the future um but yeah so thank you all so much for watching and remember i'm the joker princess and i'll see you all later bye